All right, how are you doing today? Today I'm taking a look at Shep's Omnichannel 2 by Waves Audio. Uh, very cool plugin, very cool uh, channel strip plugin, if you will. Very unique in some senses. Um, this is kind of my first look at it. I'm using it on vocals today, specifically only on vocals. It could be used on many different other instruments. I just got the Waves Creative Access, 230 plus plugins, unlimited updates, all that fun stuff. So I will be exploring a lot of Waves plugins on my channel coming up here. And this happens to be the Waves Omni channel too, as you can see here. In this video, I go through some things, just playing some uh, presets, messing around with some of the sounds, going through some of the features, using it as a bus for vocals channel on the vocal bus as well. And then some other things here too. And, you know, just showing off some of the features and stuff. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm just experimenting around here with the Sheps Omni Channel 2 on some vocal tracks here. And I inserted the Abbey Road Chamber. It's actually, can we mute that here? I don't know how that works in this. I'm, I'm exploring these for the first time. Uh, that's actually the Butch Vig vocals. We could do that in a different video. Uh, very cool plugin as well. But where's it not popping up? Let me click here, insert. Okay, that's how we turn it on and off. All right, let's turn it off to begin with. I just have a preset here. This is the SM7 vocal preset. Uh, I kind of like this one on this vocal. Now this plugin is not just for vocals, obviously, but I'm just experimenting for this video with vocals. Anyways, let me shut up and play the vocal track. No more twisting all my words. No more pushing me down. No more stirring up emotions. And then muted, if I mute that plugin. No more twisting all my words. No more pushing me down. No more. Turn it back on. No more twisting all my words. No more pushing me down. No more stirring up the motions. No more meltdowns. No more saying that you. So I just loaded the preset up and I was pretty ready to go right out of the bat. And I wanted to add in uh, the Abbey Road plugin here. Well, I, didn't, I just went and looked for delays. Okay, so you go in here, you can search for effects because you could add in any, any of the other plugins in here um, from Waves. I don't know if they could do the third party plugins, but anyways, these are the Waves. And I put delays, and just Abbey Road Chambers was the first one that popped up. And then let's check that out. It should open up. I don't know where it is. Why is it not opening? There it is. And I have never used this plugin either, so I'm experimenting with it for the first time here. I'll have to do another video on this. Just basically a chamber, uh, Abbey, Ch Abbey Road Chambers. So let's actually put a different one in here. Delay, I know the um, delay stop. I don't know what that is either. Try that, oh, there we go, it's like a delay pedal. Pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more. All right, so that's cool. That's an insert we could put in there. Let's check out some other presets here for vocals with the plugin here. I wish it had like a vocal folder. These are all like producers and stuff and mixers. So let's go to Andrew Shrep's vocals. He gets vocal one. You got a lot of vocals. So here's where the focus button comes and they have this little focus thing here. And basically it's telling you, hey, these blue sections, these are, you know, very important. Check those out. Mess around with those first. If, you know, if you're to help you out, especially for newer people that haven't, you know, have used channel strips or mixing and producing. Um, so we got the saturation here, frequency. Um, this is the side chain, oh, no, the compressor, sorry. Attack and release. I saw the side chain down here. Anyways, let me play this, see what it sounds like. No more twisting all my words. No more pushing me down. No more stirring up emotions. No more meltdowns. No more saying that you...
No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up the motions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you, no more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up the motions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you, no more twisting. So this is one of his parallel vocal parallel dirt channels. Very cool. I wonder how I could if I can I do this. This would be great on a bus. Mix it in with the original. Is there a There's not a 50% knob on here. I, like I said, this is the first time I'm looking at this plugin, so I'm kind of exploring it for the first time too. Um Let's try this real quick. Create a bus. I got a lot of stuff in this on here. Let's do bus six since there's nothing there. We'll put this on bus six. And then we'll just use uh, the Butch Vig vocal plugin for the vocals. And then we'll just put that into the bus, have a nice parallel. No more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you, no more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions. So what we got going on here is we have the lead vocal sent it to a bus and his parallel chain, and then we got the blended in. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns, no more say. So that's pretty cool, and I'm just using the Butch Vig vocals plugin, which I haven't used much of either, so. You know, again, a very uh, random video kind of here today, exploring things for the first time. So we'll put this back here and we'll explore some other, where'd it go? <laughs> it disappeared on me. Oh, no, here it is. Um, now, one thing I did notice when I changed the preset, my insert goes away. Can I lock that in place somehow? Is there a way to lock that in place? I don't know, let's see. So put an H delay plugin on there. Um, and then that just opens it up. That turns it off. But there's no way to lock it. We'll have to get back to you on that. So let's just play some other preset vocals. Well, it's gonna erase my uh, thing. So those are the Andrew Shrep vocals. Um, Parallel Dirt. Parallel Presence in Dirt. Um, those are great for your bus channels. Background Vocal Stack. You got some really cool um, vocal things in here. Aggressive Vocals, let's check that out. I think we had that one already. No more twisting all my words. No more pushing me down. No more staring at the motions. No more meltdowns. No more saying that you... No more twisting all my words, no more. Now again, I'm just going through the presets. We can dial in our own sound, obviously. I should mention that. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down. No more. That's a pretty cool sound. So we got the saturation, we can do dual, we can do mid sides. We got four different saturations here. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you, no more twisting. We got our EQ, high, mid, low, and tone, compressor, we got the noise gate, which we don't really actually need, it's, I think it's turned off, yeah. Now we could do this on a bus, or we could insert something here for the delay. 
Let's do the H delay. No more no twisting all my words. words. No, no more pushing me down. down. No more stirring no up stirring emotion. No more down. No more saying that you. No more twisting all my words. No more pushing me down. No more stirring up emotions. No more meltdown. No more saying that you. No more twisting. So really, really cool. So just a quick note here too, I guess the reason you can't save your inserts here with the presets, because some of the presets actually have their own inserts. I just loaded up this preset here just from Sky Van Hoff of Vocal Female preset. And the LA or the L1 limiter is in that preset. So I guess there's that as well. And if you don't have every plugin, I, I have the subscription service, so I have like everything they have, the Waves plugins. So, I mean, you can do a lot with, I don't know how that works. If you don't have that plugin, I guess it maybe it doesn't load it. But this one has the focus thing here too. So that's pretty cool. So you can start playing around with it from this spot. And then let's just go here and see what happens. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you, no more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns. No now you can also solo no what the DS is here doing too. No so there's two DSers running here. And you could just solo what's what you're DSing. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. And then we have our different compressors here. And yeah, very cool plugin. This thing's awesome. Obviously, it's for every instrument, it's not just for vocals. I'm gonna explore like crazy with this thing here. I studied a bunch of the Andrew. Shep's techniques of mixing and stuff like that. So having one of his own plugins is pretty cool. I use some of his techniques, like the rear bus stuff. I do the rear bus technique sometime. Although he does not have a preset in here for a rear bus. I mean, it's only a compressor, so maybe that's why. Maybe that's one of his other plugins. Um, but he does have some of the, bus, the crush, drum crush and stuff. I haven't tried that out, but we'll do that in a different video. And yeah. Now, of course, if you have the studio verse as well, we have so many more other crazy things going on in here. Uh, complex routings that you just kind of throw up at the Omni channel here on this vocal. This is one of Andrew's presets for the studio effects here. Day, every day, every day, Ooh, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, out here we're one, every day, oh I. And then we have our microcontrollers over here that we can control different things with. So this is super cool as well. So that must be the delay right here. Day, every day, every day. Ooh, every day, every day. Every day, every day, every day. Out here we're one. Every day, oh I. Every day. Every day, I oh, say, I say, every day. So these are kind of like in Logic, if you have Logic, I'm a Logic Pro user, like your smart controls, you're controlling all these different controls over here, just with these settings. And of course, you could take a deep dive into it too and do it, you know, this way as well. But this is kind of like a, a lot of complex rally going on here. You got the Poltec EQ there, CLA, CLA 2A and another Poltec. Um, so yeah, uh, is that one? I think that's one of his tricks actually. He does this and then he does the reverse. Well, you can't have two up at the same time. Let's see here. Yeah, so he boosts zero there, 100. Attenuate 10, close to 10, and bandwidth five. 
and it's kind of reverse on this one with the, with the compressor in, in between. This is one of Andrew Schwepp's uh, vocal techniques <clears throat> that I studied and learned from him. And I actually have kind of a setup myself on a bus that I use with different plugins, log built-in Logic plugins actually. But anyways, that's a side story. Um, if you if you studied any of his mixing techniques, you'll know what this is. If not, then you'll learn something new or go search some of his stuff on YouTube or whatever. Pretty much everything he does is on YouTube. Um, all his tricks, techniques. Um, yeah, sibilance there. So yeah, that's a pretty cool. And of course, there's other presets. We could go in here uh, for your vocals. And I just searched for that plugin and, you know, let's see what this one is. This is a completely different vocal setup, but that plugin is not in here. Or maybe it is. You know, that's that's the beauty of the studio verse. It's like <laughs> um, everything's just kind of everywhere, like all this stuff. Day, every day, every day. Every day, every day. So pretty cool. All right, so pretty cool. Let me know what you think. This is super cool plugin. Um, I'll be using it and exploring a lot more with it. And I can't wait to try other things with it. Let me know what you think. Have you tried it? Is this on your wish list? Uh, do you use it? And by the way, the Waves Creative Access is really cool as well. There'll be links down in the description below. Uh, you can pay monthly or pay annually. There's a seven day free trial. Sometimes there's different promotions going on. So check the link in the video description. You'll get the best deal at the time of, of whatever deal's going on at that time. So anyways, check that out too. That is all for now. And I will talk to you soon.